So the French dip is a very simple sandwich. It's traditionally made with roast beef on a French roll. Uh, you can add cheese to it, uh, but it was created here as an accident. Ugh. We're here at Philippe's The Original here in downtown Los Angeles. This is the original spot where the French dip sandwich was invented. It is a LA institution. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I've had French dips before, and you know, they're kind of hit or miss. I mean, it's just bread and meat with a little bit of juice on there. So kind of want to see what the big deal is about. I'm meeting my friend Nick. He comes here, he loves it. So this is my first time, I'm very excited. That's right, buddy. We opened in 1908 here in Los Angeles, and we're the longest continually operating restaurant here. So Philippe, 1918, he accidentally dropped a roll in the pan drippings of the beef he was cooking, and the customer was in a hurry, took the sandwich as it was, and came back the next day requesting it be dipped. So that was really the birth of the French dip, a happy accident. you've been here before, what do you normally get? Uh, I'm gonna get a beef dip, double dipped. Well, I wanna get like the wet one. I wanna get like, I want it like as dipped as possible. Like, they just I, dunk it in, dunk there. It in there? Yeah, yeah. With their hands too, that's the whole thing in there? Uh, yeah, you know, shack style. Whole, a regular French dip. We'll get that one dipped twice. A pork dip, and you make that one wet. Well, however long it would take to ruin the sandwich, take it out two seconds early. Double dip lamb with blue cheese, please. Uh, two pickled eggs, potato salad. I think we got enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Anything else? Do you, you get one for pie? I could dry a piece of pie. So the beef is prepared the same way as all the other meats. And they're, they're cooked, seasoned, and throughout the day we add liquid to the roasting pans, and so that's really where we get the flavor for the au jus. So the next day we use those drippings with the stock we make, and that's what we dip your sandwich in. I take Nick out to lunch. He doesn't help me carry the food. Unbelievable. The hot mustard we make here, we make it in-house. The saltiness of the sandwich goes very well with the nasal burning heat of the mustard. Oh my God, with the mustard. Oh my God, dude. Initially, it would turn me off from coming to places like this is thinking that this thing's gonna be this wet mess I gotta eat with a fork and knife or get all over my clothes. But as you can see, it's like, it's very manageable, which I like. My grandma always had just a big vat of them when we'd come visit on the counter. You would reach in and grab an egg. It's kind of why I look like I do now, I think. Keep our prices very low, so at lunchtime you could really see the whole spectrum of our clientele. I like the vintage ambiance, I like the authenticity of it. I started coming here about 10 years ago. The first time I came here was four years ago. It's wonderful. 1918 is a year that the French dip was invented. Let me hit you with some other 1918 facts. Uh -huh. 1918 was also the year of the Spanish flu, which killed between 50 and 100 million people. Philippe, the Philippe, his nickname was Frenchie. He was making a sandwich for a fireman, and he accidentally dropped the bun in the edges. So the fireman, who apparently was in a hurry, was like, don't remake my sandwich, I gotta go to a fire, or whatever he was late for. The guy dropping the thing in the pan and being like, ah, there's your sandwich, get out of here. People really lax on health rules back then. I wonder if the fireman got a, got a slice of pie too. It was like a one slice of lemon pie and they actually dropped in an open vat of meringue they had next to it. And he was like, yeah, this kid's give me the pie too. I'm in a hurry. And that guy was like, I'm not telling, this is my invention. <laughs> I'll distract him with the sandwich. I got Mr. Meringue. Yeah. <laughs>